Hey, what's up guys? Josh is here and I'm going to change the oil on my Skyline R32 GTR. I'm going to use some Motul Competition Ester Oil, which is very similar to what uh, Nismo uses for their engine oil on their Skyline RB26 as well as the R35 GTR. So let's get underneath here and we'll drain the pan. i got to reach down there and get the oil filter out. Or we'll be replacing it with the factory mm -hmm. OEM filter. Watch out, it's the model number there. Yep. And I've got my car just up on the ramps. Use the uh, 2x6 to get it up there so the front bumper would clear. Alright, so we've got our drain plug there. And this has the Omari uh, gauges on it, so that's why there's that little, little uh, sensor coming out. But that's a uh, 16 millimeter. Let's go ahead and remove it. And I'm getting ready to change the oil because I'm going to the track tomorrow. And I'm going to go do some roll races and some quarter mile stuff. We got a drone. And some RX-7s. So, we're going to might as well get some fresh oil in the car before we're putting, pushing the engine. all done draining there and I'm gonna go ahead and install a new crush, wa crush washer so we're gonna go ahead and get that on this and then kind of twist this because it's gonna go right so we're gonna kind of spin it up so the the cords not all kinked when I tighten it Clean this up and tighten her down. Go ahead and remove the dipstick just to make sure I've got as much space as I can possibly get in that area to get my hands down there on the filter. Right, I was having trouble getting it with my hand all the way, so I was able just to slip my oil wrench down there and get a little bit of a better grip on it to get a turn on it so now I can finish getting it out with my hand and they're a little bit deeper see if you guys can see it that way you should be able to see that I hope You can see that I've got it pretty much out here now. So there we go. Let's slip the new one in. So here's the new one. Even comes with a nice cover over it. And I've got the old seals intact on the old one. So I'm just going to use a little bit of oil from this old one and just kind of get the seal moist. Now we can slip it back down into the hole. Hard part is getting it onto the damn filter attachment. All right, so I've got it started threading down there. And we're gonna go ahead and 
finish it off. All right, so I've got that all tightened down by hand and I'm pretty confident with how tight I got it by hand that it's not gonna leak. It was hard for me to get a good angle on it as well as record it because there's no room for the camera, even with this little GoPro and my, my hand to get down in that hole. So let's pour about 4.6 quarts of oil in it and we are done. All right, I got our uh, Motul oil. And go ahead and get this ready to go in here. And just be careful when you pull the original the uh, top off. If you squeeze on it, it will kind of spill out. I did that the first time I opened it. All right, here we go. We can add it. And you can see these are 2.11 US quarts. So that's 4.2 quarts. Supposed to have 4.6 total. All right, I'm thinking that's about right. That should be around 4.6 quarts. I'm gonna check it with my dipstick and start it. Let the engine run for a little bit. Let the engine go around in the head and back down in the pan. Let's see what we're sitting at here. So we're barely registering, still on low. All right, I back this thing down off the driveway so it's on level ground. And let's check, check the dipstick. All right, and you can see that the oil is right up to the fill line, so we are good to go. Now keep in mind the RB26 does consume a little bit of oil, so you'll probably want to top off your oil level at least twice between oil changes. There we go, and then this is what I used for my oil filler uh, funnel. I picked this up on Amazon. I liked it because it screws right into the uh, top of the head or the valve cover. It was like 12 bucks. thought it was a nice addition but we are all done. All right, and I just wanted to get under the car one last time and just inspect, inspect the drain plug for any potential oil leaks, which it looks good there. And the oil filter always makes a mess, so I wanted to get back under the car and kind of just wipe everything off on the cross member the best I can. It makes such a mess. And I didn't see any oil dripping from down below, but I wanted to get a good look at the filter, which I don't see any oil or anything dripping from around there. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Oil changes on these engines aren't that hard except for the filter is a huge pain in the butt. So anyway, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. And I'll see you guys back next time with more videos. Have a good one.